welcome to your end of April 2020 general reading. This could resonate for you if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus. You guys, um, take only messages that resonate with you and your situation. Leave any messages that do not. And if you guys are new to the channel, do like, share, comment, subscribe. All of my returning Geminis, y'all already know it's love. So let's get in and see what we have coming out. Wow. End of April for my Geminis. Okay. Geminis, y'all messages are like clear cut and to the point. Music on the bottom of the deck, number 23. So some of you guys could um, do work with music. Some of you guys could be really, really creative or... Um, really enjoy music i feel like music during this time for you guys is really going to be healing okay i feel like it's just going to give you guys like like put your energy where you need to be so i don't know why i'm getting that um music is definitely going to be very very good or um helpful for you guys you guys have wow perseverance number four individuality number 11 and then patience, number two. Okay, Gemini. So some of y'all are definitely into um, the music business. Like you could do, um, you don't even have to be like an actual musician, even though you can. You could, you know, play on instruments. Maybe you rap, maybe you sing, maybe you dance. Um, you could be a producer, whatever the case may be. I feel like you guys are very, very creative and you're definitely heavily involved in Something with music. Like I said, if you're not, music could just be very, very helpful and powerful for you at this time. Um, you guys have number four, perseverance, perseverance, individuality, and patience. So what I'm getting off the rip, Gemini's, is that it's something that you guys have been working towards. Um, something you definitely have been working towards. And I feel like you're in a space where maybe you're feeling impatient. Maybe you're like ready for something to change you're like it's been a while um february november and april are significant months for you guys so april could have been really big for you guys in some way february could have been really big for you guys and then november i feel like it's going to be really really big so if you're waiting for something to pop off especially something that you started either in february or just even in the month of april the month of november is definitely going to be um important or very very beneficial for you guys but i'm just feeling like spirit is developing you guys as an individual okay for some reason whatever it is that you do whether it's like i said singing dancing whatever it is that you do it doesn't even have to be in the music field you're being um encouraged to continue to stand in your individuality okay whatever it is that you do i just hear spirit saying like nobody does it like you so even if you're in a space where you feel like you got a lot of competition, it's a lot of different people out there in your lane. I don't know why I'm just getting for um, you guys. Spirit's telling you like to stay patient. You know what I'm saying? Hold it down as an individual. Continue to do whatever it is that you're doing. Um, perseverance because it's going to it's going to pop. Like it's going to work for you guys. So that's what I'm getting. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. All my signs that I've done today, that two of wands is here. So y'all are at a crossroads, like right? Yeah, seven of cups. You need to make a decision about something. You have a lot of different options. And I feel like maybe you're in a space where you're feeling like what you have been doing wasn't working. So you're ready to like change it up. But spirit is telling you like, no, you need to continue to persevere. Continue to stand as an individual or individuality is just important. Um, if you're doing something competitive, like I said, don't worry about the competition. Don't change what you're doing. You need to just continue to be the individual that you are and have patience, okay? Patience is definitely here. Continue to, you know, feed into your passion with whatever it is. Yeah, we got the Ace of Wands here, bottom of the deck. So you guys have something new that you're starting or that you're either going to start. This is like my big intuition card as well because you can see like this person has this flame right here in the middle of their head, like their third eye. So I'm feeling like you guys are being awakened. Spirit is really, really placing you guys in um, a position. You have a new opportunity, whether this is a new business, whether this is you get the opportunity to work with someone that you've always wanted to work with, whether this is a new job, whether this is a new passionate relationship, whatever the case may be, it's something that you guys are waiting for um, 
to come in to start and you do have a new start and it's something that you're really passionate about. So Spirit is telling you to keep going. Don't give up. Be patient. But what else for my Gemini's? End of April 2020. End of April 2020 for my Gemini's. Okay, so y'all have, wow, Ten of Cups, Gemini's, I live, Eight of Pentacles, yes, that hard work, keep working, I love all this colorfulness, like I said, y'all are being blessed, your creativity is your blessing, okay, what else for my Gemini's, if you didn't know, your creativity is your gift, but I know y'all know that, anything else for my Gemini's, end of April 2020, all right, what's this? The sun is here. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. And look, two of wands is back on the bottom of the day. So we got six of pentacles and the sun here. So yeah, you guys are in a space where you're waiting. You're, um, you've either made a decision. I feel like you have made a decision because you have perseverance here. So this is like something you've already started. You could either be waiting for this to go to the next level, um, but you're waiting. You guys have really, really good cards here, by the way, Gemini's. Y'all have Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Sun here. So there is something um, in your life that you guys have been given to. You've been working towards this. You've been working damn hard. Like, you've been praying. You've been meditating. You've been in a different space. Some of you guys have really learned yourselves um, on a spiritual level. Like, you're beginning to, like, establish your spiritual side. Or you're just starting to work with your intuition. This creativity that I'm getting so much of. Like, look at this sun. All this, these vibrant colors. All of this energy that I'm getting from these cards, Gemini, is coming from, it's going to come from within you guys, okay? That's why we have the individuality here. You need to sit down and get into a space where you're tapping into your intuition because you are so creative. You have so many things that are coming that you're working on. Patience is here. And this is sacral chakra. Um, with this 10 of cups, this eight of pentacles, and this six of wands here, not to mention we got the sun here. That's the happiest card in the deck. Something that you've been working really, really hard at is about to pan out. And when I tell you it's going to pan out for one, you're going to be making some paper from this. Whatever it is that you do for work, whatever it is that you've been working hard on, whatever it is you've been dedicating yourself to, sun up, sun down, whatever it is that you're passionate about, you feel this. It's going to bring in financial abundance for you, for one. That's for one. For two, ten of cups with the sun. Baby, you're about to be opened up. You need to open yourselves up. You need to like get in touch with this creative energy. Some of you guys literally need to go outside. This Ten of Cups in the Sun is telling me that you guys are about to have something come in for you that is going to just bring you so much joy, so much happiness, so much abundance. You just need to continue being patient. For some of you guys, this could come through collaborations. This could come through working with your friends. Something is, is coming. Some of you guys are dealing with the Libra. Or a Libra could be very, very significant for you. Let's see. Pisces is here as well. Ace of Swords in the Hangman. So some of you guys are getting some um, truth that's coming into you. Um, or you just could be getting some ideas like from someone that's close to you. Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. You can have Capricorn heavy in your chart. So nine of wands, yeah, you guys have been waiting, but you're at a point in your life where like, you're like, you know what? I'm not giving up. You could feel like giving up. You could feel like you done been through a lot. Like this is like fighting a good fight. Like I done, I done been there. I done done it. I probably done done it more than once and I'm getting tired. But spirit is telling you, no, keep going. Keep going and have patience. Okay. Perseverance. Keep going. Go into the Ten of Cups for my Gemini. The readings I've done today have been lit. I'm glad I, I don't know, for some reason, when I try to sit down and do all the readings, I always do like a certain group. It could be five readings, two readings, one reading. And then the next group that I do, the readings are all kind of like the energy is the same. So I love this because I did Scorpio, Aries, and then you guys. Y'all energy is different than the other signs that I've done. Um, we got the Six of Pentacles, Temperance here, and King of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Wow. So some of you guys have someone coming into your life or 
that has came into your life. Could be a Sagittarius, could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Whoever this person is, for one, this person has their shit together. They're very stable. Okay, they're on top of their finances. They're on top of they're on top of their their a game, especially when it comes to like being practical. Their stability. They don't play about that. Whoever this person is, they could have been through a lot. Temperance is here, so there's a need for healing. There's a need for balance. Y'all got balance here twice. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Whatever the case may be. There is some healing that is needed in this connection or that's coming in this connection, okay? You guys are needed to be balanced. Whoever this person is, I feel like you guys also have someone, you could be connected to someone that got their coins together and they're either going to help you or you're helping them. Go into this Eight of Pentacles. Go into this Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So some of you guys, um, you've been working really hard. You've been trying to get your finances together. And you're in a space now where you're feeling your worth. Like, someone could come in and want to invest and just, like, really sweep you off your feet. Like, damn, I've been waiting. You know, I've, <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody like you for a long time. If it's not that, it could also just be... You know, you guys have been waiting to get yourselves financially stable and you're now in a space to where with this nine of pentacles, you have everything that you need. If you want to do something, maybe starting it up by yourself is the move until it jumps off and then people could come in and want to invest in what you got cracking. Because y'all do have individuality here with the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is like my solo dolo card. This is like, I don't need you. I don't need your money. I'm good over here. My coins together. I know my worth. I'm working hard at what I want, and now I'm actually getting the fruits or seeing the fruits of my labor. So you guys are definitely going to see the fruits of your labor, and some of you guys, you're worried about this, okay? The lovers is here. Look at you, Gemini, showing up in your own reading. Some of you guys are worried about this. For some of you guys, you can have a decision to make. Maybe you're dealing with two people, and they both make you happy. One person is more stable. One person you just mesh better with, and you're needed to make a decision. Some of y'all, that could be the case. That's just for a few. The high priestess is here. Trust your intuition, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, but it's a need for one, divine timing is at play. So that's why Spirit is telling you to be patient and don't give up, okay? Continue to put in that work that you've been putting in, whether this is in love, you know, starting your business, your family, whatever this is pertaining to. Trust your intuition because you're being divinely guided. Seven of Pentacles is here. Six of Pentacles, Okay. Like I said, someone is going to invest in you, Gemini. What else? Let's go into the Six of Pentacles. Five, oh, Six of Wands, sorry. Yep, moving forward. So someone is going to help you move forward. Whatever it is that you have going on, you have someone around you that's going to help you move forward. Or you could have someone that you finally feel like, you know what, I, I want to invest in this. I want to move forward with this person. Whatever the case may be, you could want to invest in them. You could see things moving forward with them or they can feel this way with you. But someone wants to move forward. Go into the sun. Wow, Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So someone definitely has a decision to make, okay? And I keep saying this in Gemini's reading. Y'all always got some decision to make. Why do they keep leaving it up to you, Gemini? Damn. But y'all got the Knight of um, Pentacles here, Six of Cups. So someone from your past could be coming back wanting to put in the work, work really hard. This could be someone that you've already known that's coming back around and they're like, wow, I love your energy. I like your vibe. I love your creativeness. I want to work with you. Or this could just be you guys in a space to where you met someone that you really mesh well with and your intuition is telling you like, yo, this the one. And this person could be single. You could have waited for this person to be single. Whatever the case may be, something is moving forward. It's going to require some work from, from you guys. I'm stuttering. It's going to require some work from you guys, okay? Music is here again, so you could be um, involved with music. Effort is here. Number 13, this breaks down to a four. You need to continue to put in the effort with this perseverance, okay? Continue to do your due diligence, like I said, whether you work in music, you're connected to someone who's in music, maybe you deal with somebody that, got, that can sing, that rap, whatever. I just see something moving forward, but you guys are needed to make a decision. And you're conflicted. Ooh, Gemini, y'all conflicted about this. 
Y'all are not sure. Y'all are conflicted about whatever this, this choice is that you guys got to make. Maybe it's because there's some things that you don't know. But whatever the case may be, I do see you guys moving forward. I just did an air clap and I didn't even connect. Okay. <laughs> what else for my Geminis? Y'all, energy is bomb. I love this. What else for my Geminis? What else does my Gemini need to know at this time? Savings. <clears throat> As you consistently say, for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a favor, big favor, as you consistently set aside present funds. Oh, y'all got so much. Okay. Obstacles are um, obstacles and blocks are lifted. So whatever blocks you guys have been experiencing, whether this was um, creatively, your intuition, you know, a relationship moving forward, something is moving forward. Okay. Savings is here. So you need to save, save your money, save your resources, whatever the case. Saving is important. Windfall of abundance. What did I tell y'all, Gemini's? Y'all got some bomb stuff coming to you. So there is something that's coming in for you guys. And this is a windfall of abundance. It could be an abundance in money. It could be an abundance of support. It could be an abundance of love. Whatever the case may be, you need to know that you deserve this, okay? With this deservingness, okay? You need to know that you deserve whatever this is. Yes, look at this. Spirit is saying it is safe for you to receive, so y'all have something coming in, like I said, whether someone wants to help you, invest in you, you want to invest in them, whatever the case. Y'all have some abundance that is certainly coming in, baby. And it got your name on it, Gemini, two sides. <laughs> I love this. I need to borrow some, okay? Send your girl a PayPal or something, Gemini, because y'all got, got it coming. All right, even if it's love, send me, send me. Some of that abundance. All right, guys, that's what I have for your messages, Gemini. I love y'all, and I hope y'all have an amazing week. See you next time, guys. Bye.